see is that using stencils like this you can get quite a stark finish. This is a painted white brick building and so all I'm doing here is very dry brush layers taking quite a bit of the excess off so I know what I'm doing. Ooh, picked up a bit of a, a cream beige there, doesn't matter. It's a brick building. Um, I'm just knocking it back. Just knock back layer by layer, bit by bit, that harsh grey. What you can see as you go, so it's just coat by coat, bit by bit, getting it patchy. Probably go around again. That way, you can see as you get rid of that harsh, clearly stenciled look. As you go, you get a more weathered, soft look to the stencils. You can do that, if you imagine you're doing red brick, you'd put a beige coat down and then put a red brick finish on. And you might want to go two or three coats of different sort of reds and oranges for the brick. And then do the same as this really, you just knock it back. You can see piece by piece, brush by brush, helps you to merge in corners. They were re-stenciled so that they went through. Even going there. The foundations of this building are actually stone, normally covered by grass by the way. You can see here, I've also used a stencil for the step. The kit come with an etched step, but not etched there, because some people will plank it, some people will use a different finish. So I've done it in such a way that when I've used different finishes, they'll merge together. You can see this is bit by bit, just knocking it back as far as you want to knock it back. I think that's not bad for a, a painted white brick building. So really the stencils are, uh, are a way of working to a finish and not a necessarily uh, an end solution. So. See what you think, have a go. I'm going to come back when it's all finished and painted in and so you can see the, the final uh, building.